Good evening, long distance riders. Uh, we're not using the Roadside America right now because there's no Roadside America. Uh, it's September 8th. I'm uh, now in uh, Marietta, Georgia at another Drury. I was at a Drury in Paducah, which was really nice. So I decided to use Expedia again and uh, book this one. And um, it was 371 miles. Uh, the temperature was actually quite mild, but uh, it was somewhat of a brutal ride. It was a lot of construction zones. We went zipping through it, but 371 miles, it took me about seven hours to get here. I made um, three fuel stops and one man stop, and the one man stop was at a uh, visitor center, and um, it was pretty cool because it was like right on the um, Tennessee River. And uh, I took a few pictures that I'll be posting that later. Uh, so, yeah, that was a really long ride. I can't believe it. Back in the day, I was doing 700 miles in like 10, maybe. It was all during basically day, almost daylight hours, you know, 10, 12, maybe in the summertime, July. Mm -hmm. Sun doesn't go down until like 930 or so. But, uh, yeah, uh, that was pretty rough. So my, my plan was to push from here to home. Uh, which was going to be like a seven hour thing, but the weather looks really poor. It's probably going to start raining here in the morning and then it's going to be like intermittent all the way to Valdosta and then Valdosta, it looks like I might end up like leaving in, getting there in the rain and then leaving in the rain in the morning. But then after that, it's like three hours to home. And it'll all be during the day day part. So I'll be visible and be that as it may, getting home in the rain, it is what it is. But uh, anyway, the interesting part of the story was when I was in Paducah, I signed up for their rewards program, and um, I found out, like, I should not be using Expedia. I should be booking directly with the hotel because you, you actually, if something goes bad, you can cancel with no repercussions, like charging your card at the other one. You don't have to call Expedia. You can just call them. Uh, the other thing is, is like these breweries, the normal rate is 197. Now Expedia has them for 144, but you can't use your AARP or your AAA card or anything like that. And uh, uh, when I got here, I was talking to the clerk, Randy, at the at the front desk about it, and he gave me a whole bunch of 411 tips, and uh, and that was like book through the app. So uh, I gave all that information to the Paducah place and um, he says, well, they're supposed to send you an email where you can set up a profile on your account and password and blah, blah, blah. And then you can book online and you can get the uh, members rate, which was like 143, like a dollar uh, cheaper. But you can use your AARP or AAA or if you're a veteran or whatever uh, for an additional discount, which I found up in Paducah. I, if I would have done it that way, I could have actually gotten that room for a buck twenty, you know, like fourteen or twenty four dollars cheaper than what I paid. So I got down here and I was talking to Randy about it. So I haven't still gotten the email, so I don't know what's going on. And it turns out there was a miscommunication up there, and they sent it to Road Hogger R O D Hogger instead of Road, like on the road. So um, I had Randy confirm what my membership number was and I called the hotel there in Valdosta and um, he said he couldn't do that the desk clerk couldn't do that over the phone rewards so he said I'll transfer you to the rewards desk and I got this guy Brian and he was like really helpful he confirmed my membership number and then he said what was the email address and I told him I said road like on the road r-o-a-d hogger h-a-w-g-e-r at gmail.com and he goes oh they had a, they did it by mistake. And so he generated another email, which I got. But at the same time, he let me um, go ahead and book the room under my membership uh, number, which was the 143 rate. And um, I said, and Randy at the front desk gave me the monthly promo code, enjoy. <laughs> and uh, I said, I do have a promo code. And he goes, oh. What is that? And I told him, he goes, well, that dropped your rate to 137. So I got it for e even cheaper. I mean, that's like cheaper than Best Western and some of the other places I was, I've been at. And, well, maybe not that much cheaper, but still, 
you get three drinks and supper in addition to the hot breakfast. So, you know, it's a win-win. Plus, when I get there, Randy says, go ahead and hit them up and see if they'll go ahead and do your, you did the promo code, but they'll let you stack. So he says, try try hitting them with the uh, AARP or the uh, AAA card. So I thought, ah, yeah, well, let's do that because we get down, we could get it down to like a buck twenty, a hundred and twenty dollars or something. That would be a win-win-win situation for me. So anyway, um, I keep I hate to keep using the word challenging, but I don't want to sound too negative or anything because you know what, I, I've ridden in the rain before. Way back in the day, I when I was living in New Jersey, I went to go see my sister Becky Tara in uh, Michigan when she lived uh, Twenty Six Mile Road. And uh, one year, I that one year, I uh, when I left, I hit the Pennsylvania border and it proceeded to rain the entire way. I think uh, I got to her place at like nine or so at night, and I was driving through Detroit in the pouring rain. I got to her place. I looked like a drowned rat at that time, but uh, I'm almost expecting the same. I'm just hoping that. Uh, well, no, I know it's going to be okay. I'm going to get home, and then I'll be like, there's no place like home. So I'll be there, and um, other than that, I don't think I really have much to report other than this. these breweries are, if you get the discounted rate, these places are great. You get the whole supper, three drink thing, the rooms are clean, spacious, king size bed, good size TV, bathrooms are clean. They don't give you those little tiny bottles of uh, shampoo, conditioner, lotion, blah, blah, blah. They have a, a pump station in the, uh, in, the, in the bathtub area. So you just pump the little thing to, to dispense the stuff. It's like, that's pretty cool. Although you can't steal those and put them in your kit and take them down the road with you someplace else. But I don't know why you want to a lot of times anyway. But eh, so... I'm really happy with the Drury. I'm happy with the Best Westerns. The Best Westerns have been good, too, because uh, they at least have the full hot breakfast waffle station and all, so no complaints about that. But you do have to go forage for food, and luckily the Best Westerns are, like, close to, like, there's restaurants right next to them, or even if you want to do fast food, you can do that, you know, so. But uh, here, I'm sure glad they had supper because this place is like right next to um, 75 and uh, it's like six lanes and they drive like NASCAR people. It was uh, it was pretty harrowing, but you know what? All my, the exits are, everything is to the, to the right. So you know what? I just got in the right hand lane and just, you know, screw everybody else behind me. They can just deal with me doing, uh, looking around trying to find stuff although um the gps worked magnificently and it guided me directly here so no complaints there so anyway i'll be jumping off in the morning i'm hoping that i can leave without there being rain because there's supposed to be rain here later in the morning uh, like twist my way through all the cells and stuff hopefully get to valdosta when you know same thing i hope it's not going to be raining when i get there and i hope it's not raining when i leave but who knows let the good Lord be looking over my shoulder and guide me through all this mess. So on that note, I will say, God bless, good night, and bye.